What's up? How are you guys today? Not to be too much of a meanie, but this girl is a pretty good example of everything wrong. And at first glance, you might say, oh, it's just another model girl. What I eat in a day for an hourglass body. Now, let's not get into too quickly how much plastic and silicone she has injected into her body. But I was wondering why this girl is even on YouTube because you know she has 6 million followers on Instagram, a few hundred thousand on Twitter, and she does you know the OF stuff. OnlyFans was her only plans. And the craziest thing to me about these girls is they make so much money and they're not even really doing anything because you know she doesn't post you know full exposure of her body on there and what drives me even crazier is she has pictures on instagram kissing her significant other so guys see this and they're still dropping so much money on her it makes you wonder why she's even bothering with youtube stuff if she's making at least you know hundred thousand dollars a month doing this crazy stuff and you know the fact that an 18 year old girl who's not even that good looking can make more than business owners is, is just a testament to to some weird things going on in our society right now but before i complain too much i guess we'll see what she eats for her hourglass body aka the silicone on top and bottom welcome back today i'm doing a very highly requested video it is what i eat in a day for an hourglass body so I'm going to show you my breakfast here. This is pretty much what I eat every single morning. I mean, despite, you know, the plastic in her face not really moving at all, she's still very pretty. It's my favorite thing. All right, so here is my breakfast. I have two sausages. I will show you the packaging and exactly what it is and where it's from in just a second. I got my ketchup because I always need ketchup when I have sausage. I don't know why. And then I have some of my favorite fruits. Mine is a peach. I need to go get new peaches today. But I have mango, raspberries, blueberries, and pineapple, and then a bunch of local honey on top. And this is the brand of sausage that I eat. It's just chicken sausage, with no casing, 13 grams of protein, and no antibiotics ever. Okay, so... Sausages and ketchup, am I allowed to make a bloody sore joke? It's kind of weird that she's putting honey on the fruit, like you would assume it's sweet enough already, and that that's plenty of carbohydrates for one meal. But what that can tell us is, you know, these fruits are kind of high in fiber because of the high flavonoid content. They're not that easy on digestion. So she could be craving just like an easily digestible starch source, which, you know, high quality organic grains are much better for those chicken sausages are an example of the typical USDA allowing misleading marketing terms to get people to think that the food's healthy when it's actually not. Even if the chicken's organic, it's usually just vegetarian corn and soy feed, not actually good for you. Ketchup, I mean, you know, having it once in a while is, is not that big of a deal, but. If you know anything about me, I'm a very health conscious person. I don't like to just roll with the system. I like to figure out what's going on in this world with our diets and the farms and all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of crazy, honestly, kind of psycho. So I make sure that my ketchup has no high fructose corn syrup. This one is sweetened with agave nectar and it's really good. Honestly, it tastes the same. And to me, like after I have like regular ketchup, I like feel kind of sick and gross. But after this, like it just tastes good and I feel good after. That was one thing I noticed in Europe too. They regulate the ingredients a lot more. And the same brand of ketchup had different ingredients in Europe than it does here in the States. Like it's just so crazy. So I'm always just trying to keep tabs on that and, you know, stay away from the inflammatory oils like seed oils. So everything that I'm eating today is seed oil free. So what she's done is a good example of these big corporate companies misleading people into thinking they're healthy. You know, she's not looking at the big picture. She's looking at tiny things like, oh, there's no high fructose corn syrup in my ketchup or this or that. These are like disinfo campaigns and they're not telling you the complete truth. And, and not to be, you know, sexist, but women generally appeal to authority more. So instead of doing the research on their own, they end up going to these disinfo agents that aren't really helping them improve their health. So the girl seems like she's in the right mindset and wants to be healthy. She just hasn't been exposed to the correct information. So everything that I'm eating today is seed oil free. So here I have my Kangen water 
It basically is this machine that alkalizes water. Uh, okay. I mean, what I just said is like, she's getting tricked and duped because, you know, the Kangen system, I mean, let, let's see what she says about it first. Uh, it's supposed to be really good for you. So <laughs> supposed to be really good for you. <laughs> Um, and this girl got sold on it. So yeah, I've done many videos on water. You know, it takes a pretty comprehensive amount of research and understanding to actually figure out what works and what's not. Um, and, and because these people don't actually experience any real health problems, they don't have a reason to put in the effort. They just, oh, yeah, let me buy this several thousand dollar Kangen filter that's not actually removing any fluoride or chlorine or making the water better. That's what I'm doing. And then I also have my chlorophyll drops. I don't get the one with peppermint, and I find that a lot of these are like flavored with peppermint. I don't like it, so I just get like the normal. But I'm gonna fill up my water and drop some of this in there. Oh, that looks great for your liver. Black stuff. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna think I'm really crazy for this one. <laughs> I literally sound like a psycho in this video, but this is actually what I do. So, this is natural she legit. And it's like this mineral that grows on top of, I think. Sheila Jeet, Sheila Shit. I've never done a video on this stuff because I, I really think it, it's just kind of a scam. It's the Appalachian Mountains. I could be totally wrong on that. But it's based. From the Appalachian Mountains. Okay. Like I, <laughs> it's from, um, it's from like volcanic deposits in India or something. And uh, they were saying like monkeys were eating this black stuff that was coming out of the rocks. It's supposed to be very high in minerals but it, it's probably also very high in carcinogens and toxic compounds. And if you are deficient in minerals, you're much better off just doing like a hair mineral analysis to see which specific ones and then taking, you know, the laboratory extracts, which are pure proven bioavailability. Basically, it's supposed to contain a lot of minerals that make up your body and our soils are depleted of minerals. So we're not getting the right nutrients and minerals that we need for our bodies to be able to heal themselves and to be healthy. So I take about this much and I roll it. I just roll it in a little bowl. Yeah, eating tar must be gross. real good for your digestive system. So I roll it into a ball and I take it like a pill. My neighbor just got his driveway done. Should I go she eat some of the black top? Cute name. This is a perfect textbook example. Again, of someone falling into this disinfo nonsense of thinking they're healthy, but actually doing things that are harming their health. You know, that chlorophyll is probably just polluted pesticides, agrochemicals, because the stuff in the plant component of it isn't actually healthy for you. There's no significant vitamins or minerals besides anti-nutrients that would only harm you. And then the shilajit, e e look, even if this was super high in minerals, if you take that small of an amount of anything, it can't be significant enough, you know? Just like a pure boron extract, pure boron laboratory extract of that size would be enough for boron. But you're saying that's enough for all the minerals. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sure she does that a lot in her other websites. Yay. <laughs> all right. The other really important, I know there's so many steps to my morning, but the really important thing that I take are my vitamins and supplements. Um, I have, I talked about this, I think, in a couple videos ago. Um, I have a special doctor that, like, takes my blood and will look at it, like, every, I think it's, like, 8 to 12 weeks or something, and then just tells me, like, you know, what levels are low, like, um, what I'm lacking, what I need, and just make sure that I'm 100% A+, plus, not even A-, minus, that my blood is, like, top tier. So... My blood is top tier. <laughs> Uh, these, these are like those girls that you talk to and you try to convince them otherwise of anything they say and they just stare at you with the blank face that she has now and just continue doing the nonsense they're doing. This is something that has helped me a lot and honestly since I ever started like regulating this stuff in my body, my periods have been so regular they used to either be the 15th or the 1st or whatever time of the month like I never would know and ever since I started making sure I'm getting the right supplements and vitamins. My period is always on the first, like every single month. It is right on the dot. Um, so that just tells me how important this was for my body. So we did a video on multivitamins, I think over a year or two ago now. And the ratios and forms of most of them aren't that great. She's just probably got approached by a company and her doctor's telling her to do this or that. 
But, you know, there's two big issues with that. One is that blood work is not a good indicator of actual tissue stores of vitamins and minerals. And two, the forms of these extracts in the typical multivitamin are either harmful to you or they're in incredibly high ratios, which, same thing, they're harmful to you. For my body. But long story short, I recommend everyone should go get their blood tested and see. Can we read that? Okay, so it's just a bunch of B vitamins, maybe to give her energy in the morning what they're lacking and what they need. So uh, this video is sponsored by Celsius. They also happen to be my favorite energy drink because there's no artificial flavors or coloring, um, which is really important to me. All natural. Um, I'm drinking the Arctic Vibe. This is probably one of my favorite. I also really like the strawberry lemonade and then they have this peach one that's really good. But today I'm kind of feeling this, so. Casual sponsorship, trying to say it's it's a healthy sports drink when it's just as crappy as everything else served in an aluminum can. So we did a video on every about everything, guys, including aluminum. So it's it's a soft metal. When you cook with it a lot, you know these metals accumulate in your body and you can't remove them, and it causes all sorts of health issues, eventually leading to degenerative diseases. And uh, these companies will say, oh, there's no artificial extracts or preservatives yet. It's full of 15 other chemicals. And don't forget. Regardless of how healthy something is, if it's labeled organic, if it's in a glass container, if there's any sort of water content to it, they're probably using just regular fluoridated and chlorinated water. So it's automatically off the table. It's like the middle of the day. I'm starting to get a little bit sleepy. All right, now I'm having a little snack. I'm just having this pretzel chocolate protein bar. <laughs> so this girl had, had like two sausages and some fruit for, for breakfast, and that was about it. Uh, she's saying she's sleepy and tired by the middle of the day, which doesn't make sense considering all the B vitamins she took. Uh, I'm guessing she drank coffee but didn't show us. It has 12 grams of protein, 25 carbs, and 6 fat. And there's no inflammatory seed oils in here. So we love this. She said this earlier with breakfast too, and I forgot to mention it. So, oh yeah, there's no inflammatory seed oils. Well, if that chicken's on an organic corn and soy feed, which it was, it's going to be very high in omega-6, linoleic acid, which is just as inflammatory as the vegetable seed oil version because it's altering the fatty acid lipid profile in your body and causing a lot of problems. And uh, anyone talking about seed oils, that theory was kind of created by Tucker Goodrich uh, or found out by Tucker Goodrich. And I did a podcast with him years and years ago, but people kind of just... Just like they've done with me, they kind of just steal other ideas and never credit people because they want all the, oh, I'm the smartest person, buy my stuff. That's usually how it is. Not to mention, it also just tastes like a candy bar. It's so good. So I just started making my lunch and I just made a little chicken vegetable soup. I don't know if you can see that. The stove is really dirty, FYI. Michael makes a big mess. <laughs> um, but while I wait for that to finish cooking, I'm going to have some organic grass-fed kefir. It's really good. I get the strawberry one. It is prebiotic and probiotic. And it looks like this. It's like a cute little like, strawberry. So she's having chicken vegetable soup, which is kind of the same problem with breakfast. You know, the chicken isn't that great of a source of protein because it's like misleading marketing on what they're feeding the chickens. And just like, you know, fruit, I mean, fruit's slightly better, but vegetables and stuff, there's no real caloric density or anything to detox our liver. It's not great. And I'm not a fan of any of these uh, prebiotics from the supermarket because whether the dairy is raw or not is, is not a super significant factor in the health of the product. This is just not going to be active bacteria. It never is. Whether you're buying... Um, a water kefir from the store, a probiotic pill supplement from the store, whatever it is, this is dead bacteria. It's not active and it's not going to fix your gut. It's not good for you. You have to make it yourself or purchase it from someone that puts a lot of effort into the timing of the product. When we sell water kefir on Frankie's Free Range Foods, all of it was made two days prior to us shipping it to you. That means that as soon as you receive it, it's in the perfect highest active amount of bacteria that's why we have reviews saying oh this healed my gut completely duh, duh, duh. and this stuff you know it's just on the shelf and people say they drink it for health but aren't really in any sort of poor state of health where they even need it okay now i am eating my lunch 
and I just have my chicken and vegetable soup that I made and then I've been dumping a bunch of crayola on it okay so I'm having a super late dinner because I had a really late lunch so this is my new obsession right here right here these cauliflower chicken nuggets yeah I mean honestly this girl doesn't look that good like her skin tone isn't that healthy her body tone isn't super healthy and she's eating all this super inflammatory chicken all day yet she thinks she's improving her health by removing seed oils if she just replaced the chicken with beef she'd be 10 times healthier all the other stuff in the diet comes secondary when you're eating this much chicken basically it's like a chicken tender but breaded in cauliflower and let me just read you these macros okay like this shit is just crazy in the entire bag it is 490 calories that's it six grams of fat 49 grams of carbs zero sugar obviously and 65 grams of protein in an entire bag there's only 400 what's more likely that this girl is is so intelligent that she's deceiving us to sell products or <laughs> that she's fallen into uh, some of the mainstream fitness diet nutrition nonsense that macros actually matter 90 calories in this entire bag like this is act actually incredible there's also no inflammatory oh my oil. God, not the fucking... this is loot oh <laughs> Someone, someone, I would pay someone if they just made a compilation of this uh, girl saying, there's no inflammatory seed oils, yet her, her liver is full of chicken linoleic acid that she's been stuffing down her face for God knows how many years. Oils in here, so we love that, no seed oils. Yeah, um, really, really. And the chicken is... Because if you ask her, what's a seed oil? You know, a standard answer for that is like, oh, it's just omega-6 linoleic acid. But she doesn't even know that. To parallel, that chicken has the same problem. It's raised with no antibiotics ever. So we love that. It's called Holly Power. Got it at Whole Foods. So I'm going to make about like maybe like four or five nuggets in there with that ketchup that I showed you earlier. My special clean ketchup. Um... And then that's it and usually like if i did a booty day i would have had a carb um like a rice or something like that right after my workout um and then i would have had a protein shake um with casein protein powder i make this really good chocolate one i'll have to show you um my what i eat in a day like on a heavy booty day um because my diet's a little bit different for when i actually do a workout anyways that's all I'm gonna. Alright, I just finished dinner and now I'm having a big glass of water. Gotta stay hydrated. Try to drink at least a gallon a day. And. So, so this whole video is just mixed with like health and nutrition, disinformation, and conventional wisdom stuff. Uh, but this is the opposite of what a person should eat if they want to be healthy. There's not enough quality food. There's not enough saturated fat. There's not enough carbohydrates. <laughs> I mean, minerals are really low. You know, it, honestly, this is not much better than what the average like bro bodybuilder eats. And you know, people in the comments weren't really too happy about what she was eating. They're like, oh, it's objective. Da, da, da. But yeah, I mean, there were also people losing weight because you're basically starving yourself on a, a, a pure protein diet. That's really what she's doing here. It's not good for you. Very bad for your liver. Now, I think you guys got the point, so I don't want to go too much into this, but, you know, when you have filler in your face with a lot of makeup on, you know, fake implants on your chest, and you're starving yourself to look skinny, you're kind of masking that you would look like, you know, a, a drug addict twig, so to speak. Uh, so now, instead of that, people are actually following what she's doing because they want to look like her without, yeah, you, you know, <laughs> I mean... It would be ridiculous and they would never make any money or, or get popular but if they disclose the truth at the beginning oh yeah you know what surgical procedures they had done what's fake and what's real on their body people would just dismiss what they're doing but thank you guys for joining me hopefully you guys have uh, had a little fun with this it's just completely ridiculous maybe she uh, gets some traffic from youtube as well to line her pockets more if you guys do want to support me you can check out frank but as usual please drop a like on the video Leave a comment down below.
subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.